Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online. Ooh, the war is over, so I am back in the Ishtar. That has been a while actually. Something that I did not do, uh, do during this war is uh, take the Ishtar out for some nice relaxed exploration runs. And uh, well, since it's over, you can see here on the top um, left side, we no longer have the icon for the war. Uh, we can get back out here and try to find some juicy sites. Uh, the main reason is well, when I'm exploring, I've got my routines. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit set in my ways, honestly. And uh, I don't want them to uh, accidentally catch my Ishtar, of course, because I wasn't paying attention to local uh, or uh, didn't have the D-scan on and, and stuff like that. So um, uh, what I did do uh, during the war is uh, fly around a little bit in the uh, Jackdaw, just uh, cleaning up some anomalies. I feel like that's pretty quick. Uh, and uh, potentially from escalations, of course, those tend to be a lot safer. You can't just, you know, scan an escalation down that somebody else might be running. Um, so that's basically what I've been focusing on when it comes to exploration during the war. Uh, but uh, other than that, yeah, this puppy has been uh, gathering dust in the hangar for quite a little bit. So I thought that uh, we would start uh, announcing the end of the war, basically, with a little bit of exploration. And the first, first thing, well, actually, it's not the first thing, but uh, the first thing on uh, camera that I find here is a data site um, I've done a couple of rounds up until uh, this point and uh, very interesting I have seen a lot a lot of competition uh, for data sites so lots of really small exploration frigates uh, trying to uh, hunt down these uh, these data sites and uh, I can kind of understand why I'm making a decent isk from uh, from all of these now this is just 400,000 so this is not really a great site uh, but a couple of others have been very rewarding so Let's, uh, let's continue on uh, on this little tour here. Uh, in the meantime, I'll give you guys a little bit of an update on what happened in the final leg of the war, of course. That one has ended. And uh, basically in the last week, uh, because I saw no one still, I did some patrols in my still bomber from time to time, seeing if the enemy would show up, if there was any interest or any likeliness that they would come back and, and try to maybe hit my... Um, my structures again uh, but of course as the week ends it becomes impossible for them to do all the timers and so I, it really felt to me like the war was winding down uh, that third week uh, was probably the last one if I didn't give them any reason to re-extend the war such as giving them a kill in the Ishtar or something like that so I've been a little bit extra careful basically when we have here nothing that special let's move on to lower devil uh, so I've been extra special not to show myself too much not to give them any opportunities that I shouldn't and uh, as a result I played quite a little bit less but as a result as well the war is now over they uh, it lasted for three weeks so they spent 300 million isk uh, war decking me for zero kills zero losses uh, so overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with that result personally and well when you're like me a solo player or in a tiny corporation and you're stuck under a war deck honestly uh, my advice would be to to take this road to try to just not give them any chances at kills uh, not uh, make the war effort worth it for them uh, move around right um, have some jump clones ready so that if they do look for you through for instance a uh, locator agent that they'll have to do quite a bit of traveling in order to catch you uh, and stuff like that just try to make it hard on them to have fun uh, during that war it usually uh, ends then in 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 two weeks three weeks uh, for for this one for instance um, don't deploy or fly what you can't afford to lose of course that is always super important um, but uh, yeah uh, I must also say seeing what happened uh, during the war deck on the um, on the structure um, structures are well if you get a big organized group are definitely doable for uh, for larger groups uh, and pretty easily so but they take a huge and enormous amount of effort uh, so honestly uh, just having those three shacks that they used um, take care of the shields of three of my uh, of my structures will probably meant that they had to expose themselves for quite a long time while under other war decks so that was actually a little bit of risk that they took and then of course uh, basically announcing uh, that you're coming back um, that time and that place uh, to everyone uh, for the armor timer it is a big hurdle uh, to go over and well, it hasn't happened yet uh, in any of the wars that I've been into so don't be too worried don't panic 
when uh, the enemy hits your shields for instance um, because it's it's really the armor timer that's the real test of whether or not someone is going to commit enough to take down uh, your your structures i was not too worried uh, myself on top of that i got quite a bit of help offered by you guys uh, thank you very much for that of course it's great to see all of that support uh, but a little bit as expected it was not really needed so the war just ended a little bit on a whimper i got that concord notification is it still here somewhere no i've been doing too much sasha killing to get that notification you basically get that notification that the war is being invalidated within 24 hours uh, combat uh, legal combat activities will uh, will stop and so that is what happened. Um, you don't have uh, any idea until that last 24 hour timers hap uh, happens. Uh, timer happens that uh, the war ends at that time so you don't know did they buy one week two week three weeks uh, or more of that uh, for uh, for this war. Uh, I'm not even sure if you can buy several weeks on end. On end. Um, uh, I haven't really war decked anyone myself but that of course does keep you in the dark a little bit well don't get um you know don't get uh, frustrated or anything like that because the war keeps going for a little bit it's one week at a time try to have fun try to find stuff to do in eve online uh, but uh, you know also try to avoid giving them too much fun if what you want is the war to end quickly in the meantime we are here for another uh, data site so let's see if we find anything juicy in these or anything new might give you guys a bit of a tip uh, as to why i think that um, these data sites have uh, increased in popularity all of a sudden so let's see what we got here. There's the core. Let's open that up. Still nothing special. All right. Final one then. 19 kilometers. So here we go. This is of course the reason why I uh, put the micro op drive on my Ishtar. So that we can zoom. Oops. And then we actually get bounced. Should I do it again? We'll do one more. One more punch towards and here we go let's start the hack uh, yeah, a micro drive of course cuts down on my travel time substantially when it comes to going from uh, data hack to data hack and uh, let's see here okay lots of stuff in the way lots of stuff in the way <laughs> really a lot of stuff in the way and there's the core so i basically had to go through all of these in order to get nothing that special just another decryptor all right, moving on to Upper Devil then. Let's get a little bit of a bounce going here. Still going well, uh, but so far all I have found are data sites to run. One vigil uh, as well, nothing too special to drop. But this is of course new. Look at that, uh, Noise 5 Needlejack filaments. Now they're already not worth that much anymore, almost a million isk uh, for these. But these are really cool. I think that they look really cool as well. And these are of course those new filaments that... Um, that uh, that can yeet a fleet in this case of five ships uh, into a random destination somewhere in uh, space uh, or develop yeah okay and uh, yeah they just drop from these data sites i thought it would all become part of the industry uh, but no you definitely have some uh, some of these uh, needle jack filaments just drop straight from data sites and i think that you know it's still a million isk there's gonna be a lot of demand for these and if you're a pvp'er you don't tend to be an explorer that runs data sites so you're not gonna gather these yourself I, I think that there's a decently good market for that and that this is why the popularity of data sites has increased uh, quite a bit all of a sudden but uh, let's see what else we can find, of course. Uh, this is also the reason why I use the Ishtar. Uh, in my opinion, you know, the best platform for casual exploration, for PvE exploration in general. It is not the best combat ship. I fully understand that. The Gila um, is a lot better. Can also do more stuff. The Gila is... Um, man, there's really nothing out here at the moment. There's lots of competition. Uh, but the Gila... It's also a faction cruiser, so it can also run the uh, the drone sites uh, that, that can have those, those special chips that uh, run um, haunted uh, sites, I think they're called. Um, haunted Yard, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's a very big bonus, uh, to be honest, for, um, for, for the Gila. Uh, but this ship is basically built for that all-in-one capacity we also run an analyzer we've got a little bit of damage we've got all the drones large small sentry drones we can take 
anything that Isaac throws at us and that's what I really like we can do so super super comfortably um, the heal I can probably do so as well but do you want to let go of that uh, perfect tank do you want to let go of that perfect damage application to lose a mid slot or anything like that I don't think so uh, the healer is really the king of the combat sites the king of the combat ships but uh, the Ishtar for me still my favorite ship one of the my favorite looking ships as well especially with this skin the police skin is really really cool uh, that uh, that drone platform our pocket carrier uh, especially now that the Vexor Navy issue is no longer really a drone boat uh, this is in my opinion one of the greatest ships to fly in EVE Online and uh, it's great to be able to finally take it out again do a little bit of exploration with it and um, see what comes of that so we get a couple more systems that we can check see if there's anything new that has spawned we've got a refuge there here in Isasama, we just have a wormhole, so that is nothing too special. And uh, yeah, these data sites, not that bad. We are at 20 million. If we take out 3.4 million for the um, for the extra probes, and then 8 million for this, we're, we're still in not that much time and not that many data sites. Uh, we're probably up to the what would it be then? 10 million, something like that. Uh, in loot, all of that. Look at this. Uh, Takamal uh, appendix got 1.6 million so that's not so bad uh, 1.6 million for the needle jacks we get a couple of extra filaments and here we also have yeah augmentation decryptor another million here 3 million in symmetric decryptors as well uh, and I thought I had some regular filaments in here as well these aren't worth that much anymore but if you want to basically run your own um, your own uh, Abyss sites, then uh, it can be a nice site activity as well. Well, again, no signatures here. 22 people in local. No need for me to look at any red uh, in here, which is awesome, of course. We are back in business, I would say. Um, perhaps I can share that with you guys as well while, while we do a couple more systems uh, before we end this one. What have I been doing since the war? Uh, well, first of all, I, I did uh, refuel the uh, the structures uh, a little bit because those, um, at least one of them went below 20 days. Uh, still plenty of time, of course, but uh, I personally always try to keep them fueled for 30 days on end. Uh, just, you know, give myself a month. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with that. So that's the first thing that I've done. And then the next thing that I have to do is move my blueprint copy business back into those structures. You can see here, everything is in low, 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 uh, lower devil in that NPC station there. Why? Because it's of course safe. Uh, it costs more and it's uh, a longer time to make the copies as well. So I'm definitely planning to bring the ship blueprints uh, back to um, back to detail to get that uh, running full bore and at the best margins again uh, but this is something that I still have to do as a cup as these jobs still have to run basically a couple more days and then we will be ready um, if this is nothing special perhaps also uh, this video should come out on the day of the PvP patch which will end the it's a combat side though uh, which will end the uh, fight or flight quadrant the pvp quadrant and so right here at the end we get a little bit, little bit of love for low sec a bit of uh, a couple of changes for faction warfare as well which are from a reddit post uh, i oh god damn it just to watch not that great uh let's go to dashinas next hope that there's something there as well um but yeah this quadrant is ending the focus on pvp is ending um i feel like yeah it's been regular, it's been pretty cool with all of the, the little events and things like that, but it's not really been my cup of tea. I'm a little bit of a Care Bear, granted. Uh, so I personally really look forward to whatever else CCP has planned now in the next quadrants. Um, I hope that we get that information pretty soon because uh, I, I personally can't wait to... Um, to see if they're going with with like storylines you know are we getting more abyss story are we getting more uh sleeper story triglavians what's happening there i feel like we've gotten very little story in the last couple of months um what's the focus uh pve structures economy what about those resource changes what's gonna happen there uh i really am very very hungry for information uh, i feel like it's also basically the perfect time for the war to end here it's been an interesting experiment 
moment. Uh, I've actually been able to relax a little bit, take uh, take a step back from all of the uh, EVE Online activities. Batteries are recharged, so I am basically fully ready for uh, the next lake, our next adventure in EVE Online. And over here, we still don't find anything new. So unfortunately, I am heading home. Uh, towards the tell well, with a little bit of stuff from these data sites. I think they are up in popularity uh, On one round I encounter an Astero, a probe, uh, a heal um, Helios uh, and then another uh, Exploration ship all of these little frigates hunting down these data sites in two of them that I scanned down There was another one uh, already a frigate uh, present that was uh, running uh, the containers themselves So these do look like they have increased in popularity once again And I can understand why with very little effort and very little cost of well as well the barrier of entry uh, is super small uh, for uh, for that type of exploration you can actually make quite a, a decent amount of risk as well for your time invested anyways i'm heading back to the wolves den that's going to be it for this first update guys looking forward to the rest stay healthy out there thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time